If you have a Netgear Nighthawk C7000 AC1900 cable modem router combo and you want to disable the router portion of it so it acts only as a modem, I'm going to help you do that. But I'm going to, I have a warning for you before you apply that setting. I'm going to tell you about that right before I do it. So let's go ahead. We're going to have to log into the interface. I'm going to open up Chrome and you go to router login dot net. And it bypassed the login for me because I was just in there. But your default username is admin. Your default password is password unless you changed it. Those are the defaults. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced up top. And then on the left side, we're going to go to administration. And then the second link down, there's a link called router mode. You click on that. So now this is where you change the setting. The default setting is router mode, yes. That means yes, the router is on. So if you wanna turn the router portion of this device off, you're gonna to wanna to hit no. So before you hit apply, I have a warning for you. Once you hit no, that means your router will be disabled. So meaning the interface you're logged into right now won't exist. It'll go away when you apply it. Also, your Wi-Fi will not exist. In order to have Wi-Fi, you're gonna to have to plug another router into one of the ports on the back of this one and use that as your Wi-Fi. So this router that you're logged into right now, just a warning, is going to go away. So this is a router modem combo. So what this is doing right here, it's turning off your router. So no more Wi-Fi. So you can plug one device into the back of it, into one of the LAN ports, and your one device, if it's plugged in via an ethernet cable, should be able to get online, but you won't be able to plug in more than one device. You won't have Wi-Fi, and this interface will go away. So just to show you, I'm gonna apply this, apply, and the screen's gonna change. It's gonna say rebooting device, please wait. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna reboot, and this web page that you're using to configure it is gonna go away because you're not gonna have Wi-Fi anymore. The Wi-Fi, you're gonna disconnect from Wi-Fi. And I just wanna make this clear, you're gonna, it may seem like the router's broken or something, but it's not, it's in modem only mode. So if you wanna set it back to how it was, to factory default settings and re-enable the router, you're gonna to wanna to stick a pin into that little uh, reset. Uh, there's like a little hole on the back of your router. You stick a pin in there while it's turned on and it'll reset the router to, de to factory default settings. If you want more clarification on that, uh, I have another video uh, called Netgear, it's like Netgear Nighthawk reset to factory de default settings or something like that. But I have a video on that. So you'll see it's rebooting the device and it doesn't look like it is, but it's, it's done applying the settings. So if I reset this page, if I refresh it, it's gone. No internet, I'm not on Wi-Fi, it's not even connected to Wi-Fi because it doesn't even exist anymore because I disabled the router. So just be clear, that that's what's happening. Your router is not broken, it's just that you disabled the router so there's no more Wi-Fi. It's, it's an intended uh, side effect of it. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.